All right, Nick, let's talk about the Cleveland Browns. We've seen the offseason, we've seen the preseason, and I think there have been some moves made due to that that were very surprising for the Browns. I think this is a good sign going forward just for the overall trajectory of the, this Cleveland team. Yeah, Myers, this is kind of an exciting development. A lot of energy behind Cleveland right now, a lot of excitement and buzz behind this team as we get ready for the 2023 season, which leads me directly into my question today for Browns fans, the dog pound to answer in the comment section below. Give us your MVP of the preseason and training camp so far, whether offense, defense, special teams, whatever position he may play, give us your MVP of the Cleveland Browns training camp and preseason in the comment section below. All right, Myers, what you got? What's this latest buzz out of Cleveland? Yeah, Nick, so we all know the leading man of the Cleveland Browns right now is, of course, Deshaun Watson, and that has never been in question. But what has been in question is who's going to be number two behind that guy. There's been a tight, tight backup quarterback battle all throughout uh, this preseason, offseason, and now a decision has been made via a trade to the Arizona Cardinals of Josh Dobbs. That means Dorian Thompson Robinson will now be the number two, the backup quarterback for the Browns. I think this is really exciting news, but let's get into the story first and then we'll talk about it afterwards. This is from over at NBC Sports. They said Cardinals head coach Jonathan Gannon declined to call Colt McCoy the team's starting quarterback earlier this week. Now there's a new option under center for Arizona. Tom Pelissero of NFL Media reports that the Browns are trading Josh Dobbs and a 2024 seventh round pick to Arizona. For a fourth round pick, it's the third trade of the day for the Cardinals. They sent linebacker Isaiah Simmons to the Giants, as well as O-lineman Josh Jones to the Texans. Big news here, Nick. Dobbs heading over to Arizona, meaning Dorian thompson Robinson, DTR, as he's familiarly called by the fans, is now the backup quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. I think he's looked phenomenal through the preseason. His stats have been incredible. He really looked very, very good throughout all of the games I have watched him. But I think it's really exciting that this young rookie guy is the second quarterback in Cleveland, Nick. But what do you think about this? What does this mean for the overall health of the Browns roster? So this is a very interesting move, and I think potentially exciting because there's a lot of historical analogies when you talk about a backup quarterback kind of surprising, rising up the ranks to the number two spot. Let's back up a few years. Let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys in 2016. They drafted Dak Prescott in the fourth round, not too far away from DTR being selected in the fifth round. The Cowboys had some injuries with Tony Romo in the preseason. They played a lot of Prescott. Prescott ended up winning the QB2 position. He was originally slated to be maybe the QB3 for the Cowboys. Romo gets hurt. Prescott steps up. The Cowboys go 13-3. and The rest is history with Dak Prescott. He's the franchise quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Let's go back even further. How about 2001? We had a young quarterback for the New England Patriots named Tom Brady entering his second season for his rookie year. Brady was a number four quarterback on the roster, a six-round pick, of course. He beat everybody out that preseason to move to number two, was really pushing Patriots starter at the time, Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets hurt. Brady steps in. The rest is history. Now, look, obviously, I don't know if DTR is Dak Prescott. I surely think it's highly unlikely he's the next Tom Brady. But you can't deny that there are some very interesting historical comparisons to what he has done this offseason because he came in. Everyone knows Gibbs is a quality veteran quarterback. Everybody likes him. Good leader, makes a lot of good decisions. Is almost like the stereotypical what you want in a backup quarterback. And Kellen Mond, you know, he hasn't worked out in his career, but he has a lot of physical tools, did a lot of good things in college for Texas A&M. Even then, DTR clearly beat him out. There's a lot of momentum right now for the Cleveland Browns behind this young quarterback. And obviously, Watson is the guy right now. But if Watson gets hurt or if he fails to live up to the expectations, don't be surprised if DTR comes in and shines. I think they're, the Browns potentially could have stumbled upon a special player here in Robinson. Yeah, Nick. And DTR, he's been great in the preseason so far. Let's go over some of his stats. Graded out PFF. This is preseason, so we can't put too much stock into it. But nonetheless, it is impressive. 81.1 overall grade for the preseason so far. Has pretty much an equal passer and rushing rating. So he's dynamic in both aspects. 76.5, 76.2, respectively, for passing and rushing. He's had 46 attempts, 348 passing yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. I think those are really great numbers. He's kept the ball clean. He's looked dynamic in the run game. I think this guy just is special. He's a playmaker. And out of UCLA, we all saw what he was able to do in that system. He threw for almost 3,200 yards last year. He had 106 passer rating. He looked really, really clean, really, really dynamic. Just a big-time playmaker for that program. 27 touchdowns last season. 
I think this guy could be special, like you said, and I think this is the right move. Let Dobbs go. Dobbs can go help out whoever uh, he wants over in Arizona, and he might even have the opportunity to shine, you know, be a starter early on. But I think holding on to DTR as your backup quarterback, give him the confidence to have that number two job, we just might see, Nick, the next kind of Dak Prescott slash Tom Brady, like you said. He could come out here and surprise us. Yeah, and look, I apologize. I believe I said Gibbs earlier. It is Josh Dobbs. I don't know what I was confusing there with Gibbs. I think maybe potentially some, we we're talking about some other players earlier in a different episode. But look, this is a guy in DTR who has all the kind of traits to be this kind of breakout candidate, right? In terms of a middle round, late round pick that emerges. Everyone loves his leadership. His NFL draft profile is all about the fact he makes accurate reads and can work through his progression. He just has below average size, below average arm strength, right? It sounds familiar like a Tom Brady, like a Dak Prescott, a guy who had a lot of negative attributes physically, but had a lot of good things go- going for him mentally, improved throughout his college career, continue that improvement early in his NFL career. We're seeing this elevation right now for DTR. And to me, I would think there'd be nothing more in terms of poetic justice for this Cleveland Browns franchise. If after essentially decades of looking for a franchise quarterback using first round pick after first round pick, Whedon, Manziel, Baker Mayfield, then you go for the big trade for Deshaun Watson. Wouldn't it be just the incredible thing if they stumbled upon an all pro elite level quarterback for the long term in DTR in the fifth round like they did this past offseason? Look, I know that's a long way away from happening, but right now there's no denying the incredible uh, momentum behind this young quarterback. And we really need to keep an eye on this kid because I think there's a strong chance he's set up for something special.